Are you ready to start making money online? Join me in today's video as I show you how to add an online store to your Wix website. Now this is all part of an evolving series on building an online store in Wix, but I want to show you the fundamental of at least adding your online store and getting familiar with the Wix stores app here on their platform. Hey, if you're brand new here, thanks for joining us. If you'd like to join the largest Wix training community on the internet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on because we've got some fun things happening. You already saw some of the, the new creators here on the channel doing really fun things and I want you to be a part of that. We'd love to have you. That being said, let's jump into today's video. So before jumping in and showing you the meat of this, I did want to say as an e-commerce store, especially nowadays, I've seen a lot of e-commerce businesses start to run into some tax trouble because of accounting reasons. And I don't want you to be part of that. So if you haven't already checked out Awesome, this video is actually sponsored by Awesome. It's actually a team of uh, e-commerce bookkeeping and accounting specialists. They equip you with your own mobile and desktop app that integrates basically with all major e-commerce platforms, Amazon, eBay, Shopify, working through Wix, all that good stuff. Awesome is a UK e-commerce space solution right now. It's growing hugely. It's growing quickly. So if you're looking to get set up over there, it doesn't matter if you are in the US, at least go over there, get started in the process. So that way you can get on that list. So when they do launch in the US, you're there, you're ready, you've got this solution, and you can even get access to a special discount that we're running, actually they're running specifically for you guys for being here on this particular video. The link is down in the description below. Make sure to go check out Awesome. Don't get yourself caught up in tax trouble because your e-commerce accounting wasn't done properly. I know it sounds boring, it needs to be done right, all right? So don't get yourself in hot water with that. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into the meat. So I have a blank template here in front of us. I simply want to show you how to add your online store today and get familiar with Wix stores. So what you're going to do, if you go up to add, you'll actually see there's an option down here that says store. So you can click on store and then you can click add to site. This will add Wix stores to your website. Once you have Wix stores, now you've got a world of opportunity, right? There's tons and tons of things you can do from this point between product creation, and we're gonna go through a lot of it in this series. We've already started the series, but I wanna get you acquainted with this first, okay? So Wix stores is going to add to your website. Once it has added to your website, you're gonna see a bunch of things, right? You're gonna see a profile up here, a shopping cart, so that way your um, customers have a shopping cart that they can view. They'll be able to store information in their user profile cards, addresses, all of that to make for easier shipping and payment information if they go to repurchase on your store. But you'll notice the bare bones store is added to this page, right? So one of the things I wanna make note of right off the bat, if you press settings, this is gonna take you to all of your store settings between layouts, settings, text, design, filters, sorting. This is gonna give you the ability to add all of these things. So you can add filters, you can add sorting options, you can choose which collection is displayed here on this main product page, all products or is it a particular collection, and you could even design the look, colors, feels, fonts, text, all that good stuff right here from the settings portion of this particular app. Now, that's the settings. We will touch on settings in a separate video. There's really not too much to it in the sense that um, there's a lot of design based settings that you're gonna wanna go through here and you're gonna wanna modify and that's what I would recommend you go through. But the next thing I wanna do is I wanna show you manage products. So all of your e-commerce store can be managed from your Wix dashboard. You can add products in your Wix dashboard, you can edit products, you can manage orders, you can uh, respond to emails, you can do all of that from your Wix products. Now, that being said, or your Wix dashboard, excuse me. That being said, um, there's a few other functionalities that I want you to become acquainted with. For example, 
you can import multiple products to your store. So if you've got um, products either on an Excel sheet and you wanna import them in to make for an easy import, you can do that. You can export all of your physical products to a CSV file to keep track internally. Uh, and you can actually rearrange the order of your project products from collection pages. If you wanna co uh, create a new product, you could come in here, which will give you a set of default products just so you could go get a feel for how it works. But if you want to create a new one, you would come in here, create a product, and you can choose either a digital file. Examples of this would be ebooks, uh, an album, printable files, physical, which would be your physical traditional products, your t shirts shoes, skateboards, sports equipment, stuff like that would be physical products. Um, once you come in here, you can choose one of those two and then it'll have you go through and actually start creating a product. Now we're going to do a whole video on product creation. I just wanted to show you the basics. Over here on the left, you can also manage inventory. We're gonna discard changes. So you can manage the inventory of each individual product, its SKU. You can uh, choose whether it's in stock or out of stock, so that way your store is up to date. Uh, you can create collections. So maybe you've got uh, an apparel store and you've got a winter collection, you've got a fall collection, a spring collection, and a summer collection. You could come in here, create new collections. You can go to back to stock requests. So what this means is people that, yeah, I mean, you've been there, right? Where you had a product that you really wanted, they were out of stock, but you can put your email in, get notified when they get back in restock. And so this is actually where you can start collecting those requests to see which products have high demand that want to be restocked uh, and then which of them don't if any and then you can even go find products to sell which this is actually a new tool here in wix stores and you can actually find products these are some of the um this is print on demand stores or stuff like that like printful is an incredible store i'm actually going to be doing a video on printful um just pretty soon actually um so so look out for that but these are where you can basically manage your entire store you'll also notice you've got a tab for orders you can review your orders. You can review your abandoned cart. So you can stay on top of your orders. Who has placed an order? Abandoned cart, for those of you that don't know, are people that had products in their cart and abandoned it. They never actually went through and purchased. You can manage that here. You can add gift cards. So you can um, actually see how many gift cards you've sold. Uh, you can review your sales here. And then in addition to that, um, you've got stuff like subscriptions. This is more if you're on pricing plans and stores. But when it comes to your online store, you're going to mainly live around store products and orders. So that way you can manage your inventory, manage your products, manage your collections. That's ultimately what I wanted to convey to you in today's video, how to add it, how to get at least familiar with it and antiquated with it right now so that way you're um, comfortable moving into the next step like i said we're gonna have more videos in this particular series if you did enjoy this video i'd kindly ask that you drop a like down below comment let me know if there's anything particular you'd like to see in this e-commerce series which is going to be a living breathing series over time and lastly again if you're not part of our wix nation community yet we'd love to have you we're the largest wix training community on the internet all you got to do is press that subscribe button, turn those bell notifications on. And if you do want some free Wix content, you can go to the link in the description below. And don't forget to check out our friends over at Awesome for your e-commerce accounting solution. I promise you do need that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you on the next one.